Hey everybody, it's Liam here and I'm in my pod. How does it get any better than that? Hey, have a look at this. Yeah. Maybe that's a better view, huh? What else is possible? I'm talking about sex, no sex, and receiving today. And it's like we were on a tele call last night. Really, really fascinating discussion as we were talking about sex and no sex as the lower harmonic of receiving on this planet. And I've often heard Gary talk about thoughts, feelings, emotions, sex and no sex as being the lower harmonic of uh, being, knowing, being and receiving. Um, and and I've always had this question, question in my universe, what, what actually is sex and no sex? And so it, it's, I still haven't got a really great handle on it. But it's, it's sort of like, for me, the awareness that's coming up for me lately is that sex and no sex is this thing of everywhere where we're looking for the sex to be right or wrong, or everywhere where we've made sex right or wrong and then go into the no sex universe, um, at thinking that that is actually being more aware or uh, not having to deal with sex in this reality point of view has sort of like kept me always in a constant state of judgment of me especially being a man you know like m men have been sold the idea of you know uh, in order to be a man you have to be good in bed you have to have you have to be sex you know um, and if you if you're not or if you're not interested in it then you go into the wrongness of you and then you go into the no sex universe and everything gets really really weird and you stop receiving so everywhere where you have been functioning from the sex and no sex universe rather than what's what can i receive here can we now destroy and uncreate all of that and i'm going to use that access tool uh, good and bear right wrong pop pop all nine short boys meals so what what truly is the energy of sex I know in the foundation, hello, uh, I know in the foundation, it, uh, Gary talks about uh, sex as you know, a walking tool, strutting your stuff and feeling good about your body. And um, here I am in Langkawi, in Malaysia, at this beautiful five-star resort. And um, for me, that's like, that's, that's sex. I, I was watching monkeys play in the tree earlier on and it was just like, they were having so much fun jumping around, bending the, you know, bouncing around on the on the tree um, limbs and like, wow, that was sex. They were really being the energy of, of, of having fun with their bodies. So it's like in this reality, the sex and no sex is where we start to cut off from our bodies, uh, from feeling really great and it, you don't have to have copulation in order for that to occur although that can be part of it so what's sex for you today you know like is it drinking a cup of coffee is it oh fruit i was just talking to my friend carlina this morning and i was i was in the sex and no sex reality this morning i was in resistance i was thinking a lot and i wasn't able to get a lot of awareness and so um, I've been asking a lot of questions for the last two or three hours and then I went up and got some fruit and came back down and sat next to Carlina and I said, oh my God, I'm suddenly feeling happy again. What is that? And I asked her a question, is it choice? Is it the processing that I've been doing? Is it me asking for contribution? Is it all of the above? And she looked at me and she said, well, maybe it's having fruit. <laughs> And so, like, what is sex for you that would allow you to receive a different possibility? And again, I was talking to Anthony Mathis yesterday, brilliant man, um, and awesome with bodies. And he came up to me and, and we had a, a, a wee chat about, um, about receiving. And what was that now? Oh, I've totally lost the plot. <laughs> Does it get any better than that? Um, receiving oh I'm moving your body yeah and it's, it's sort of like how many of us get stuck in our head or stuck in our heart and feelings 
when we actually need sex, yeah, we actually require receiving from our body. And this is, the, this is often the time when we can step into our bodies and go for a walk, have, have a swim, maybe have something to eat, have a drink, have a cup of coffee, uh, and allow, uh, allow our bodies to receive something different. Because I do know this, our bodies are these magical, wonderful ones, and often we forget to recharge them. Um, it's, it's like, you know, sticking, sticking your mobile phone in USB. Um, I'm not talking about having to eat and nurture your body in that way, but what other sexy ways can you nurture your body? Like over here, if I just look at that, you know, like that is just an amazing view. And just looking at that view, what does it do for your body, you know? Um, somebody's got an interesting question there. So glad you are talking about it. Just read, uh, just reading uh, about it again in the advanced money book and needs more, need more clarity about this. Yeah, and sex and no sex and receiving is so much to do with money. And who requires the money in this reality? Is it you, the being, or is it your body? Like, if you didn't have a body, would you need money? No. So, so often, um, if we're actually willing to receive, we can, we can receive more money. And do you ever ask your body to contribute to that? And when you do ask your body to contribute to that, do you listen to it and go, okay, cool, thanks body. Yes, let's go for a walk. Because it's, it's that element of receiving, which is the higher vibration of sex and no sex, that will allow your body to, or allow you to access the magic of your body and receive from your body the energetic awareness of what you require to receive more money for your body. So it's funny how we've gone from uh, sex, no sex, to receiving and now money. And you know, like, what if you were really willing to ask your body to contribute to creating money for it and for you and for for the planet too. Like, if you have a happy body, uh, will you, the being, be happier? And if you have a happy body, will the planet be happier? I mean, the planet is not here to, to suck the living daylights out of you. It wants to contribute to you. You are part of the contribution that the planet bees. And it's like, wow, when you're happy and your body is happy and it's like, you can, you can create and change things in a totally different way. Um, when you're in your head and trying to think about things, um, how much are you actually acting and how much are you reacting? And when you go into the feelings, how much are you acting and how much are you reacting? When you go into the sex and no sex reality, how much are you judging you, judging your body, judging other bodies around you and stopping that receiving of energy? And let's face it, money is a type of energy that if we can receive it, um, we can use it to create changes on the planet for ourselves and for others. I did put a Facebook post up the other day about magic. You might want to scroll through my Facebook on that. And I got this awareness that when we're actually being our magical selves, it's not, it's not a, it's not, it's not, a one, it's not a one thing, it's a oneness thing. When you are being the magic, you're perceiving, knowing, being and receiving and you're part of the whole and you're creating consciously with every, every molecule, you're communing with every molecule. That's the magic I had been trying so long to, you know, like using the nine trannies and going, okay, ready, one, two, three, and putting my putting my magic into the world rather than inviting magic. Oh look, there's some people I know. Viva Moira, how you doing? <laughs> Apparently that's receiving. How does it get any better than that? Wow! <laughs> um, I'm gonna go now, <laughs> get my bars run. Thanks everybody for um, joining me. I hope you have fun with this video. I know I did, certainly near the end. What can you receive today? that would allow you to create the possibility 
that you desire and everything that doesn't allow that let's destroy and uncreate it all goodbye right run pop up on our shop boys and beyonds